G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So that's a golden pender, it's called. Beautiful tree. I'm hoping we can see the rainbow lorikeets. There he is. Pretty bird. I got a wonderful photo of one the other day. That I'll um, I'll try and attach to the video. Really are very pretty, as you can see. And they love these golden penders um, and a lot of the bottle brush. You know the typical bottle brush. Uh, we'd call them um, callistamins and grevilleas, but most folks overseas know them as bottle brush. Well, there you go. There's a little bit of wildlife in the backyard. How cute is that? And we'll just zoom that out, have a bit of a look at the yard, it really is bloody peaceful, beautiful. In the afternoons I do enjoy, it's like my own little private oasis. Flowers out, the birds chirping, chickens clucking. I don't know if you can hear that sound, the water noise from the aquaponics. That all adds to it. Beautiful spot to sit in the afternoon. Normally I'd sit out here with a beer. Oh, I haven't actually got any beer today. <laughs> so we'll just sit out here instead, eh? I'm over at the aquaponics bed. This is its end doesn't get a whole lot of sun. And you can see those are cabbages. You know, they're yellow and kind of looking a bit manky. The other, I'll go around the other side and show you those ones. It gets more sun, I think, and they're doing a lot better. Yeah, there's no comparison, really. These ones are going tons better. That's the um, Wombok, the Chinese cabbage. Uh, lettuces are a little bit leggy. That's them over there. That'll be the lack of sun on this side as well. Some are not doing much of anything there. That's silver beet, I think. But still going all right oh I got some um, kale no I lie it's collards they've just gone in that's why some of them some leaves are looking a bit haphazard got that one a there a couple of others that one seems to be making the adjustment now this one looks like something's broken it it's not looking happy um, but yeah they're walking stick collards so we'll see how they go um, hopefully they'll strike. I uh, got them from my mate Rob. Thanks Rob. Uh, he took a couple of cuttings for me and pretty much I just plonked them into the aquaponics bed Rob. So let's hope they do alright. The Lebanese watercress is coming back a beauty. That's good. That'll get harvested soon and go in some greens. What I'll leave you with because it's the thing that excites me most in the yard at the moment is the uh, elephant garlic. So you can see it's really shooting ahead. Uh, looks like I think I got seven out of eight. Oh, I lie, there's the eighth one there. I got eight out of eight. How good is that? Uh, very happy with that. So I'll keep an eye on that over the next little while. Because um, this is the first time I've successfully grown garlic, certainly to this size. Um, I think I said that last video, I'm hoping that this extra sun makes all the difference. Now just before I go, I will show you something that I find quite strange. So everything else in winter does great on this side of the yard. You know, it gets the sun, you can see the silver beak compared to the silver beak I showed you in the aquaponics bed, that's a bloody rocket. Uh, the snow peas are doing good. Now oddly enough, that's my, well not oddly that that's my beetle, but what I'll show you is quite odd. So there's one of the biggest leaves there. And there's my model's fist for size comparison. Let's have a look at the one on the shadier side. Blimey, another crop of Madagascar beans. You're a mug if you don't grow Madagascar beans. Here's the beetle on the other side, which I am growing vertically just to stop it going bloody everywhere. But here it income. Have a look at the size difference in in the leaves. There's my model's fist. Bloody thing's much bigger than my fist. 
So this side clearly suits the beetle. Henceforth I shall record this video for prosperity to remind myself, hey Andy you dill, grow your beetle on this side of the yard because it works a whole lot better. Oh look, there's Bobby. Oh, Benny went in for the kill. Bob was on his back. Oh no, Benny's going. Go in, Ben Ben. Fight back, Bob. Anyway, that's just a little bit of an aside. Boys having a scruff as I relax on the patch in the afternoon. How good is that? See ya, folks. <laughs>